Hey everybody, it's Dr. V from the Veterinary Telemedicine Facebook group, and I am really, really excited to have Dr. Joy Furman from Shepherd Software here today. Um, they are one of our big supporters here in the group. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us a little bit about what you guys do and sort of how that integrates with telemedicine. I think it's interesting to have your perspective as somebody who actually provides um, the, the practice management software sort of stuff and the records to see how all that goes together. So thank you. And now, how long, you've been with Shepard for about three years? Yeah, about three years now. And Shepard, um, I, I know Cindy has like a great story about why she began this. So do you just kind of want to share the background about why, why she started this? So Shepherd was developed by Dr. Cindy Barnes. She's actually one of my vet school classmates. So we go, we go back quite a ways. Um, and she owned a 24-7 ER practice here in Arizona that when she bought the practice, it came with one software system that she learned quickly was just not very functional or user-friendly. And she was spending hours and hours doing her medical records. So she switched to a different software, actually a cloud-based platform. Um, they charged $10,000 to come out and train her team. And she found it was still not meeting her needs. So she did the most logical thing and go out and build her own software, um, recognizing that pretty much every uh, PIMS that's out on the market is developed by uh, software engineers and you know, found the need to just create something that really thinks the way that we think as veterinarians and flows according to the way we work up cases in practice. Now, I remember seeing one of her first presentations. Is that where we met maybe at the Veterinary Innovation Summit? Yes. Like several years, yes. Um, yes. And, I think it was the very I, first one. Oh yes, and I just remember when she got up there and I was like, oh, Oh, you know, practice management, but it was so cool. Like she did such a good job setting it up. So I, I would love for you guys to just kind of walk us through um, what, what Shepard does, you know, and kind of how user friendly it is. And that I think will lead into this conversation about how that, like how your practice management software is important when it comes to telemedicine, like where it matters and where it doesn't, if that makes sense. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, as a practice management software system, I think what really sets Shepherd apart is that it is designed by veterinarians. So it's a lot more user friendly, uh, much more efficient. You're not going to be spending hours doing medical records. It does, it's really designed so that you can capture your entire medical record while you are completing an appointment. Uh, with the idea that we really want veterinarians to live healthy, good lives and have balance. So we wanted to build something that would get them out the door at the end of their day or the end of their shift, as opposed to having uh, to sit and complete medical records for hours. I would say two hours was my average when I was doing ER shifts. Just uh, That's what I counted on after the end. I'd be there for two hours. Wrapping yeah, up. <laughs> and I can really say, you know, I just still do a lot of uh, relief uh, work in practice, and I probably spend about 40% less time completing records in Shepherd than on any other platform. Oh, awesome. So do you have a screen ready to share us? To share Absolutely. With us? Uh, let okay. me go ahead and do that. I don't know if I have to give you permission, but go ahead and try it if it'll let you. It's going to work. Perfect. Yay. Okay. So I'll start off by saying that Shepherd in and of itself is not a telemedicine platform. Um, that being said, with this COVID-19 crisis, we really recognize the need that uh, veterinarians currently stuck at home are having because they don't have access to the entire client files, to their PIMS that's sitting at the office. So they're really having difficulty even if they want to perform telemedicine consults. So because of this, we decided as a company that we are going to offer our platform free 
to veterinarians through June 30th, 2020, so that they can complete telemedicine consults and capture those medical records within the Shepherd software. So you'll see on this website, um, we talk a little bit about how you can use Shepherd software for free. Um, and then we go on to discuss some of the platforms that you will need uh, to uh, use in combination with Shepherd to be able to complete and perform uh, cons uh, telemedicine consults. Some veterinarians are opting to use Calendly. This is a platform that's free um, that will allow your uh, clients to schedule an appointment directly in your calendar. If you don't want to give them that functionality and if they're just going to be calling in and scheduling appointments, you can use the schedule function that's within Shepherd that I can show to you. And the other thing that having used Calendly myself, I love it because you just send people a link to Calendly and you already specify how long the appointment is and it's all integrated the way that I have it set up um, it goes into my Google um, calendar and it sets up a Zoom call all at the same time just by itself, which is really neat. Exactly. So Calendly um, does integrate with Zoom and I believe also with PayPal. Um, or Zoom integrates with PayPal. I think you're right. So that, uh, you know, you can easily capture uh, the payments right after you have completed the Zoom call. Uh, to that end, you know, we do certainly uh, like to see telemedicine consults performed either via audio, preferably video. Uh, in our experience, Zoom is the most user-friendly uh, platform to make that happen. Um, for the most part, it is free unless you reach a certain number of participants or, or length of meeting. Um, so there are other options as well, including WhatsApp, which does allow for video conferencing, uh, as well as Google Hangouts. But those are a little bit more complicated to export those files um, for storage in your medical record. Um, the other thing we've learned is a lot of clients are still asking to be able to do consults via chat. Um, so some of the best platforms that we have found for that are, uh, again, WhatsApp, ZipWhip, and Google Hangouts. Uh, all of which will allow you to export that complete chat for uploading into your medical record as well. Oh, that's nice. Do you know what format that file comes in? So I believe uh, with the Google Hangouts, it just gets emailed as a PDF. Okay. And then with WhatsApp, it is a, um, a text file. And I have some examples of those that I can show you. Cool. Yeah, no, that'd be great. All right, awesome. So the big piece of it, of course, is then documenting the medical record. And uh, the way we've proposed that you do this is that you work through your appointment, document your medical record in Shepherd, and then at the end of the, the uh, free trial period, when hopefully all this is over, you can then export your medical record to a PDF and uh, upload those files into back into your PIMS when you get back into your practice. So let's take a look at what the actual Shepherd platform will do and what it looks like. Um, so over here, this is our schedule. Um, in this particular case, I did go ahead and set up a client and uh, create a calendar appointment. Um, again, if you're using Calendly, you would either need to uh, stick with that completely separately, or if you chose to input um, those appointments directly into the schedule. When, the client, when you do start the telemedicine consult, you would just double click on this appointment, which would allow you to check that patient in. And that'll automatically open up a brand new medical record for the patient. If you are asking the client to weigh the patient for you, you could certainly um, add in that information here, either in kilograms or in pounds. And then we can go on to collect all of the medical history. 
So in this particular case, I said that this client has called because uh, the dog is, is scratching. And I've collected information around uh, the initial complaint, any of the current medications, and, and a general history of what's going on. Um, what's nice here is that you know, certainly if you set yourself up with two split screens, um, kind of like what I have right now, you can have your Zoom uh, uh, window on one screen while you are actually recording your medical record on the other. Um, again, the goal here is to have your medical record complete by the time your consult is over. Yeah, so you're just kind of doing it as you speak with them instead of trying to remember after you hang up. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So in the objective section, this is where we would typically, for Shepherd, record all of your vitals and your physical exam. Obviously, some of the, these data are going to be limited with a telemedicine consult, you know, depending on whether or not your client is willing and able to take temperatures, check pulse, and so on and so forth. Um, again, the same thing with the physical exam, you may potentially be limited. Um, in this particular case, I have captured some uh, pictures, which I'll show to you shortly, of some of the issues that the client was seeing with the patient. Um, of course, many of these parameters are not able to be examined um, via telemedicine, but here I have certainly documented what I've seen. Um, I saw on video the dog walking, so I feel fairly comfortable with some of the um, normals around normal gait. And then I've documented some of the um, skin abnormalities that I have seen. I've also noted here that this is a telemedicine consult, um, just so it doesn't look like I, you know, did it. <laughs> You're skipping that neuro exam again. <laughs> exactly. Um, all right. So moving on over here in the assessment section, um, this is where I would get to add in my problems and my diagnoses. Uh, one thing that's really nice about Shepherd is each one of these is linked to a discharge instruction. So at the end of the, the telemedicine consult, you can not only complete your medical record, but you also have your discharge instructions ready to go to email to your client. Um, you know, and it will also add in additional instructions about uh, medications or if you want to add in specific diet changes and so on and so forth. Um, more information stored in this uh, assessment section is, of course, our rule outs and differentials and the prognosis uh, for the patient. Um, we don't have any lab work here under this particular circumstance. But you'll see here, this is where I've captured some of those images um, that the client has taken and sent me so that I can see exactly, you know, have uh, visual evidence of what I'm documenting in the record. And also really nice is that you can also capture movie, film, um, uh, movie clips. So um, this That's particular really nice. one is, you know, the dog walking. I'll show you what that looks like. There it is. Um, so that I can, you know, get an idea of, you know, how the patient is ambulating or scratching or anything else uh, that I want to document for the medical record. And so this is um, just a video that a client would take on their phone like before the appointment or maybe like it's not something that you capture from Zoom, correct? That would be correct. So I would ask them to capture the picture and send it to me. Certainly if this was happening via a chat message, they would be taking these pictures and sending them to me via chat as well. So you don't have to worry about screen capping your yeah. Zoom call or anything like that. Yeah, and I think that's like a, bit, a really big concern for people is how much work is it going to take for me to get my data from one platform to the next? And, to another. and, and we'll absolutely you know, walk through that at the end. Um, I think one thing that really is beneficial here is the ability, as I said earlier, to capture the entire recording of the Zoom call uh, as well as any chats. This is a chat from WhatsApp, 
um, which I said was in, I'll open those up so you can see what they look like. So, you, uh, um, so at the end of big, the huge Zoom file? you can store an entire wow. Zoom file. Um, this is an, a video file um, that can be stored. An audio file can also be captured. Uh, this was, as I said, a PDF that came out of Google Hangouts. Um, so you can have, in addition to your own medical record, you do have kind of the raw data stored um, from that actual telemedicine consult. Okay. Um, also really nice is when it is time to go back to normal life, whatever that's going to look like, <laughs> and you want to... Um, you know, transfer these back into your medical, your PIM system and your practice. Uh, in addition to printing out the actual medical record, you get to zip up any and all of those imaging files oh, wow. so that they will, uh, you can store and capture those back in your PIMS as well. Oh, wow, that's really neat. Um, medical notes are stored here in the in the plan section. Uh, I've documented what I've discussed with the client. Um, honestly, via telemedicine, all we're really doing is an exam and then quickly prescribing some medications. Um, so I have done some prescriptions um, for this particular patient. Some practitioners are choosing to still fill those in house and then ship to clients. Others are calling in uh, prescriptions to pharmacies or even doing online pharmacy orders. Uh, either way, you certainly do have the ability very easily to switch between a filled in house or a written prescription. And you can also document here in the notes uh, if you were going to uh, ship on date um, and you can add in even the tracking number. Uh, if you are choosing to ship it yourself. Yeah. Uh, this information is not going to print out on your uh, prescription label, but will still form part of your record. And so the discharge instructions, you said that it generates um, a series of discharge notes depending on the diagnosis. I'm assuming there's also a spot in there for you to add your own additional notes? Absolutely. So for anything that's pre-populated, you can edit it on a case-by-case -case basis. You can also go ahead and add in any additional instructions. So you could put in a bland diet um, and give additional information. Um, you also have the ability, if you so choose, to create your own diagnoses or to edit these one time in the admin section. So you don't need to go and repeat, have to repeat the, the changes that you make time and time again. Okay, oh, that's so nice. And I just, it really is that easy, right? You, <laughs> you just log easy. on and it's all there. Right, the other thing that's really quick and efficient is the invoice. So anything that you add into your medical record, any prescriptions that you um, are filling in-house and shipping, these will be added automatically to your invoice. So right at the end of the consult, you can go ahead and collect payment for not only the consult itself, but certainly for any medications you're gonna be sending as well. Do you know, like are people um, just using credit cards on file then for that or? Does it sort of vary from? It, it varies. So, you know, some practices that I've spoken to um, are using, um, they, like they have a square uh, system set up. So they've been able to use that technology back at home in the computer. Um, still others will continue using their terminals, their credit card processing terminals. Uh, we've also, uh, on our webpage, we talk about you setting up a PayPal account, which is for free. So if you don't have ability to actually process credit cards, um, you could certainly use either PayPal or even a Zelle account um, for your clients to send you money. And at the end of the appointment, you just send them a request. They input their credit card or bank information um, and the money gets tr transferred into your uh, PayPal account.
And then at the end, when this is all saved, you said you can download the entire visit if you yeah. wish. Yeah, so at the end of, you know, when life goes back to normal and you going back to using your regular PIMS, you would just simply go ahead and um, export the medical record and that'll download the record as an, a PDF document. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like. There we go. Um, so it's going to be essentially a summary of everything that you documented um, in your medical record. So this is what you would send to say a specialist if you were referring a, a patient. So it's, you know, outline of your physical exam. It documents that it was a telemedicine consult, speaks to your diagnosis and your rule outs, um, any discussions you had with your clients, prescriptions, and it does also include those discharge instructions. So this file here can be saved as a PDF and then just uploaded into your PIMS um, once you're back in the, in the practice. Awesome. That's, I love that software. Um, so what I really like about, um, especially what you guys are, are offering to people, because I, I know a lot of the PIMS people can't log in remotely. And so that's, that's been a concern. And so this is something that you don't have to stop what you're already doing, right? You could just use this if you wanted to for, you know, your doctor who's at home on maternity leave maybe and decides they like doing it. Um, this could be sort of like your, your telemedicine platform. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, certainly for practices that use this as their PIMS, you know, their doctors do have the ability to log on from home, maybe even creating their schedule, a telemedicine day or a telemedicine half day where they can work from home uh, and still have full access to their medical records and to see what's going on in the practice. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, it's beautiful. I just, I love elegant solutions. Um, and I think, you know, one of the, um, the big concerns that people have brought up is I'm just so overwhelmed, right? I'm so overwhelmed. There's so many choices. Um, and I, I don't want to commit to this whole new platform, right? But this is an option where you can continue to use all the other things you already do. I feel like everybody and their mom knows how to use Zoom now. And this yeah. is just a really simple thing where you don't need to onboard a whole new technology in your practice, but it allows you to practice telemedicine in a pretty easy, inexpensive um, turnkey way because of your, your offer. Yeah. For I mean, the reality right? is that we're still required to uh, you know, keep medical records, even for these telemedicine consults. So we have to find a way to to do that. And while yes, we could all go back to doing paper records like in the old days, but that's not allowing us that functionality of being able to, um, you know, capture that uh, Zoom call in the record and, and include video clips of the patient walking and pictures of what we're seeing and so on and so forth. And what's sort of interesting to me, thinking through how so many people uh, say like, oh, you know, they just want advice for free. Like they don't want to pay for it. I'm not comfortable diagnosing all of these things. But if you do it this way, even if it's more of a, a tele-advice, a, a triage sort of call, you're still documenting. You're still having the benefit of that whole visit, even if you're not able to get to the diagnosis. And I think that that is such, like it really increases the client's perception of value um, to sort of have this record also available to them of everything that you spoke about. And that's something that, you know, if, if they need to come in, now they know that you've already done half of the work um, or, or they just have a record of sort of the instructions that you gave them. And I think that really, it can sort of help that documentation in itself helps bridge that gap. You know, when we're trying to get people to understand that your conversation and your time has value, <laughs> regardless of whether or not you sent home a drug. Absolutely. And, you know, certainly even in the circumstance that, you know, a, a, client, a current client contacts you about an issue and you feel it deems a visit to an ER, um, then there's certainly something to document that you spoke with them, um, you know, any recommendations you gave them. Um, so you're not only, you know, covering yourself, but you're also allowing 
that client better treatment when they get to the ER and say, you know, this is what my uh, regular veterinarian advised me. Yeah, yep. And so this might also be a good option for somebody who's maybe not willing or ready to step into the whole full on telemedicine, but maybe they want their doctors to handle some, you know, advice or triage calls in the off hours and you don't have the ability to access your your own software from home. So this could even be used sort of as a, a standalone for the triage advice aspect of it as well. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, that was, that was beautiful. Thank you so yeah. much for, you. for sharing that. And then um, just to repeat again, would you mind repeating for everybody where they can find you and what um, special little goodies you're offering for people? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the uh, website, our actual website is a shepherdapp.com. So that's S-H-E-P-H-E-R-D-A-P-P.com. And uh, the information that's very specific to the telemedicine during this period is you would just do forward slash COVID-19. Um, and then uh, we are offering free access to the software through June 30, 2020. At the end of the period, if you, know, you choose to stay on, on Shepherd because you love, love it so much, we can certainly speak with you about options. But if you're going back to your, uh, uh, your regular PIMS, uh, when you get back into your practice, there's absolutely no strings attached. Uh, we're only looking to provide veterinary professionals a means to uh, perform telemedicine services during this difficult time. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for your time and, and walking oh, us fun. through. I, I love something that doesn't feel burdensome. You know, if you're looking at it and thinking, oh, wow, <laughs> I could do that right away, then it's just such a, you already have enough going on, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we all under so much stress and, you know, hopefully this is just a easy tool just to enhance what you already trying to do yes oh, well wonderful thank you again and guys just go you check them out yeah yep all right all right <laughs> bye bye thank you